Hello folks, we are now into the city in the sky. City in the sky. Oh yay! So this is what we have been struggling for for about an hour or something in the previous videos. Yay! So here we go. We are finally here. Into the city in the sky. Yeah! So to open this gate here, you actually have to go a, back, a bit back. <laughs> yay. Uh, just above the door, there is a crystal switch, so get onto the, uh, yeah, you can actually stand at the bottom of the stairs there. I wasn't sure, I thought you might have to go up a little bit there. Open the door, and now we are soon going to speed up a lot here, because I was messing around for a few minutes, I didn't recall exactly where to start at. The beginning itself is quite easy though. Uh, there are some helmosaurs here that can be kind of rather annoying. And we have some falling floors. Yay! The blue blocks, or the blue floor blocks, they will actually fall if you stand on them. While if the enemy stands there, they will not fall at all. So it's kind of in <laughs> annoying that way. But I suppose it's kind of logical. They are your enemies. <laughs> Use the uh, claw shot onto the uh, wines up here on the old. Yeah, straight forward. A bit to the right side. And now I'm gonna combine the hero's bow and some water bombs. And I'm gonna destroy a couple of uh, Halvasaur enemies. Yeah. That's one. And that's number two. So now you can safely land on the opposite side with a big gap between. Uh, pick up one of the Okukus on the wall here. Use the claw shot if needed. Throw the Okuku above. And uh, for some reason I'm picking up the Okuku twice here. <laughs> and we have some pots here. And you can find some recovery heart if needed. Like I need to re refill half of a heart piece. Oh yay! <laughs> oh well, actually, half of a heart container. And in this room, there is a giant Helmosaur thing. These guys are even stronger, I think. They take three hits on the back. And getting onto their back is kind of annoying. Actually, this is the best way. Wait for them to attack you. Jump to either on the left or the right side. They are moving very slow, so that should be not be a problem. Do this uh, three times. And they should be done. Oh, down, either. <laughs> and now it's time to speed up because I'm going the wrong way twice. I think it is twice. I'm not supposed to go up here yet. You're actually supposed to climb up outside a uh, window with a hole in it. It's kind of like a uh, uh, protected side or something. It seems like to be protected, but it's actually not. Still going the wrong way. And I'm going to the left side, and there I will be killing some uh, Diababas. The uh, Diababas from the forest temple, you could say. They are easy as usual. And we are just speeding up here. As you saw there, there was a locked door. That's where we are supposed to go when we have the first key. And we shall have the first key in about... Uh, a couple of minutes now, four minutes approximately, I think. Something like that. Uh, stand on this spinner here, use the spinner uh, to actually move out the platform to get across here. And on your, yeah, straight forward on your left side, there is a gap, and on that gap on the wall, there is actually, you can fall down there, but use your claw shot. We should got from the Morphil stage, or Lake Bay Temple, whatever you prefer to call it. Get onto the opposite side, climb up the vines, and get a bow there. And you can get blown away here, so use the iron boots. At some places you got to use them not to fall down. If you spin windy, you might get blown to either sides, either the left or the right side. And here, I could have speed in the, speeded this up. It's not really that important, but yeah. Uh, I just made it before it started to blow. Oh yeah. 
And soon you are actually going to see the boss already. But you cannot get to him yet, though. But you're actually gonna see the boss quite soon. We have already seen him once. In the previous video. The last part number 17. This is part number 18. Video 1 of the 4, I think, that will be. There will be three videos, uh, which are lasting for about 21 minutes, approximately average. And there will be a fourth video with the boss battle in it, and with the heart container we should get from the boss. Unfortunately, while I play this, I forget to pick up the heart, con uh, well, the heart pieces for the heart container, the next heart container. So I'm going to make an like outtake video. I'm going back into the dungeon to get the heart pieces which I left here or forgot about. So once I've gone to the bottom here, climb up north or well, actually west, <laughs> according to the map is west. So now we got the uh, key here. There's actually not that much to do now. And suddenly Thor finds out... Yeah, we have to use the claw shot to get to the opposite side here. To get to the small key. And this is the first small key. About six and a half minutes out in the video. So yeah. There we go. Up to the other side, on the right side. And up back to the door where we came from. And now we are going back to that bridge which we actually opened it a few minutes ago. Three, four minutes ago. <laughs> Yay. So getting back here, you might get blown easily as you see there, as you saw there. I was lucky I did not get blown down there. I could have easily fall down. And now, when you're getting to the opposite side here, Across the bridge, there actually is coming a dragon, which we have already seen. He's coming in for you. He is going to... Destroy the bridge! Hmm. Yeah, he's destroying the bridge. So you cannot get back to that place any longer. Well... Actually, you can, but you have to get the uh, dungeon item. To get over there. I'm not gonna tell you what the dungeon item is if you haven't seen this already. I don't like spoilers yet. So there will be coming spoilers of course, but not yet. And uh, no, get onto the wines on either your left or right side. Climb across the uh, yeah, s circled... Um, yeah, what do you call them? Certainly, I don't recall the name. Uh, like this stands, the circle stands. <laughs> I don't even have a better name for it right now, unfortunately. There's an other, another name for them, I know, but I just can't remember. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, attach or equip the iron burst because it's going, going to blow here quite soon. There we go. So I could have get gotten blown down there. Now enter the door with a uh, lock on it. Uh, refill or recover your heart if needed. Refill them. And we are actually getting close to the dungeon um, map. We are getting very close. But before that we have some puzzles to do. First of all, there is coming another Helmer Sword King, not Helmer Sword King, but another Helmer Sword towards us. Use the uh, claw shot to take off his uh, protection, so it's easier to hit it. And you can actually hit it with his own weapon. And unfortunately, I was slow moving out to my Master Sword air. But there we go. He only damaged me with a fourth of a heart container. And as you can see, I have like 13 hot containers right now in the game. So after we have defeated the boss, there will be 14 hot containers. I'm not quite sure how many heart pieces I got already. I think it's two of them at least. I'm not sure. One or two. 
maybe three. Um, I can't recall. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so we got that fan turned off. Use the iron boots and get onto the other side. And now, as you can see, there is a floor with falling blocks on it. So what you actually have to do now is using the flower shot and attach yourself to the vines on the opposite side. Just uh, onto the uh, eastern side. And I'm just going to kill that Talmosaur. And it only takes two hits with the Master Sword. The good thing with them is that you actually can get the uh, protection of them. That's a good thing. And I think we are just going to go back now into another room here on our left side, which means onto the north. Oh, actually, no, the west, sorry. Uh, on your right side here now, on the left side, there will be a chest containing the dungeon map. And we already done with 11 minutes out of the 21 minutes of, of this video, or 20 and a half minutes, approximately. So, yeah. We are getting close to the end of this video. We are. Yay! <laughs> Get off back to the door where we came from. Now go on to your eastern side, or south and east. Well, east and south then. And in this room, there will be a lot of wind coming, as you can see here. There's some kind of like a little tricky puzzle. There are actually enemies which you cannot see here, that you have to be careful about, or you will get thrown down. I have already experienced that. You can use your claw shot to kill the keys. Or bats, if you will like to call them bats, but in Zelda games they are referred to as keys. And now, just in front of me, I will be using the Gale's Boomerang. Uh, not Gale's Boomerang. The uh, uh, Fairy Boomerang, it has been called, not Gale's Boomerang. <laughs> because there are some enemies on the floor which you cannot see from distance. When you get close enough, you might get thrown up into the air. No, just in front of you, uh, there are going to be some. Yeah, there's one there. So using the fairy boomerang, and it will fall down into the mid-air somewhere. And there's coming a key towards me. Kill it as quick as possible so it's not gonna hurt you. And make you fall backwards. There should be another one at the distance there, yes. And he landed on the opposite side, on my side. <laughs> so you can just kill him with your sword. It takes three hits with the master sword. I think it's like four or five hits with a normal sword. Not sure. Like the old on sword is being called. The normal one. You have like three swords. You have the uh, wooden sword, then the old sword, and now the master sword. Which we got. Uh, before the fourth dungeon, I think. Actually, yes, because we had to save Midna and uh, Zelda sac sacrificed herself. All of that stuff. And now there are two armored um, guys waiting for us. So you have to take care of one of them, not like the both attack you. It's much easier just taking out one on one. And get onto the other side here, or wait for him to come out to you. Use the... Uh... Ah, he fell down. Oh, cool. <laughs> Using the uh, shield attack. That's the best way to defeat them. You have to get, get them unstable, so they are not def defending themselves. So, yay. We're actually getting close to the end of this video now. About six more minutes and the video is done here. Yeah. Hooray. <laughs> it's kind of like a long dungeon. It's a lot of puzzles. Probably uh, the second longest dungeon in the game. If not the longest one. Or biggest one. I think it's almost bigger than the uh, dungeon after this one. It might be. I'm not sure which one which is the biggest one. 
I could have probably saved some time if I did recall every uh, single thing, but it's been a while since I played the game. And now, use one of the cuckoos, get up into the air. We have the wind blowing up there from the fan below us. So we are on the opposite side now, on to the north part of the dungeon, or the city in the sky. And you can see, we are very close to the upcoming uh, minibus, minibus, minibus. But first of all, we have some more stuff to do. Like, making more fans starting to blow. So they can actually make you get up into the air. As you can see right in front of us. Uh, just below there, there might be some uh, helmet source, so you want to time this correctly. So just before the wind starts to blow, you should be going on here. And I should have gone back there, but of course there is uh, also a chest on the opposite side. Which I did not see. I don't think there's anything special about it. And I'm going the wrong way, but finally to the right one. <laughs> hey! Spend some time. Like 20 seconds on that, I suppose. And here you'll be seeing another of these um, items, things you can attach yourself to. It's kind of like those things are making the fans move or stop stop moving. For this part, you're just gonna make them move, so the wind is coming towards you, or making you get blown up. While at some other part of this dungeon. You have to turn it off. I think it's actually two parts uh, at least where you have to turn it off. Yay. And you don't want to drop too far or too yeah, too high from too <laughs> from too height. Yeah. From that height. You might get injured. So uh, be be careful about your jumping. But the game is overall a very nice video. And this is the last part before the minibus in the next video. In part number 2. So we are just going to the bottom part as you can see there. We have to use the Okukos to get down there. And that's all I have to tell about for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And hopefully it will be uploaded about midnight in... Uh, no, yeah, I think it's like... This zero plus one, yeah. What you call it? Uh, it's like like the your P on time is plus one. Great Britain is zero, so yeah. I suppose it should be up about midnight or just into the twenty for February. This video here. So enjoy. Take care. Be seeing you guys. Bye bye.